Hey guys, the Trout91 here, and today we're doing the TAR-21 on my custom class guide video. Now the TAR-21 is a pretty interesting gun, because it can be partnered up with any kind of perk and attachment combination, and ultimately be a complete rape machine. Now today I'm going to show you a couple of things that I like about it, but first we get to the general comments. It's got a high rate of fire, low recoil, good iron sights, a high rate of damage, uh, multi play style, and by that I mean that you can play any way and still come out good with it. And the best sidearm is the handgun. Now the best attachment I find for it is the red dot sight lately. I didn't quite like it in the first place, but I found it's really nice with stopping power. Just for that high rate of fire, and the there's something about the red dot sights that make it a lot easier to shoot at long distance. And when there's only little bits of the person showing, unlike the iron sights give you, where it can sometimes be... Not recoiling much at all and then just have that odd second where it goes out of control. Now I partner it with Scavenger just because I like to go the distance with this gun. And I like having a lot of ammo to reach those high kill streaks. But it doesn't actually tear through ammo that fast. Stopping power just from the sheer, sheer point of view of mine. That this thing can destroy things at any range with very few bullets. And that's why I like to have stopping power on it. Just for that high rate of damage as you can see in this video. Now, third perk is just Ninja Pro. I like my sound whoring. That's pretty much my rock when it comes to third perks. Now, for my first alternative class, I like Scavenger and Cold Blooded because of that high rate of fire. I partner it with the, the Silencer, so I can pretty much have a long distance ghost class just to shoot off enemies that I like to when I'm trying to trying a bit too hard or there's a lot of air support and enemy UAVs in the air. It's a really really good class because the iron sights are really nice and that high rate of fire and long range shooting is just an all around good combination. And because it can tear through ammo a little bit faster without stopping power on, I do like to have scavenger on it. But this is one of my uh, backup air support annihilation classes so to speak but it's good for hiding from it second alternative class is the holographic with stopping power slight of hand and steady aim if you're having trouble with the iron sights and the red dot sight I recommend the holographic sight I've come to like it a little bit more now didn't first like it but it's a lot less distracting than the red dot sight and a lot easier to understand than the iron sights and with sleight of hand if you're having trouble with it just scoping in as quickly as possible to get those few bullets with stopping power in should do you a world of good. So basically it's just a just a gun to tear shit up with. Very good when you're on the attack and in CQB moments. And also very good at long distance as you'll see here. So this tile can be pretty much partnered with anything, you know, sometimes I like to go with hardline to complete the challenges and maybe danger close but uh that's just my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed that. And the next one is the FAL. I will see you for that. Peace out.